Hi everyone, my name is Jeremiah Ambrose and I'm the Year 2 Leader on Film and Digital Arts. Today I'll be hosting a talk on our course. If your ambition is to be an innovator, this course offers a real alternative to traditional film production courses. It is ideally suited to the fast-changing world of high-definition and web-optimized video content or to those interested in artistic production. Our, our course philosophy and unique selling point is that we offer an alternative to traditional film production courses, bridging the gap between film and fine art. This unique course places an emphasis on exploring the creative and conceptual possibilities of moving image, photography, and hybrid digital practices. You'll be encouraged to push the limits of technology, experiment creatively, and develop innovative ideas for projects that will equip you for a future in the creative industries, fine art practice, or postgraduate study. Whether you want to become a filmmaker, an artist, or choose a career with a range of digital skills, as are now widely desired by employers, our film and digital art degree gives you the freedom to experiment and develop those creative, critical, and transferable skills that will give you the ability to stand out and even revolutionize digital content as we know it. Film and digital art is distinctly placed in the School of Fine Art and Photography. Research methods and the contextual development of theories of the moving image and contemporary art are taught alongside your practice. And technical workshops aligned to your creative work mean you will develop a highly professional production skill base. This combination of professional skills and production knowledge is driven by your ideas and conceptual development means you will leave with a unique portfolio that demonstrates the broad transferable skills necessary to thrive in the creative industries. The curriculum is designed to provide key overlapping study areas with additional options including video production, camera, lighting, sound recording, post-production, photography, film art, installation and experimental imaging, and critical theory. So what type of work might you create? You may create documentary or fact-based film, experimental video, music videos, photography, digital projections, installations in a gallery single screen and multi-screen works, develop social media platforms, websites, or develop short experimental dramas, to name but a few. How do you learn? Lectures are done by the staff team, visiting lectures, presentations and screenings, technical workshops in year one and two, alongside tasks, assignments and projects, and working in groups in collaboration with one another. The course is student-centered with assessment and feedback at the end of each unit. You will be supported in guided independent study, methods of research, and we provide trips and galleries and select festivals. We encourage professional placements and you have career support from a dedicated team. We also offer study abroad options. Year three is about the development of your self-directed project that establishes your bridge to the commercial world. And year three engages you in serious academic research and study skills as you write your dissertation as well. Specialist resources include industry level resources for film and sound production involving post production studios, digitization units, fab labs, editing suites, 360 cameras, Unity, photo dark rooms, access to fine art, screen printing, and workshops, and many, many more. In terms of learning resources, UCA provides technicians, librarians, study skill advisors, language support. Electronic resources such as eStream, extensive collections of books, DVDs, and journals as well. Our film and digital art alumni have gone on to an eclectic range of careers in the creative industry, which you can see here. These include William McGregor, who had a feature film, Gwen, premiered in September 2018 at the Toronto Film Festival and had a UK release in early 2019 as well. He was the director of BBC's recent smash hit drama, Paul Dark. Season 5 of E4's BAFTA award-winning Misfits, he was the youngest ever director of the show. He's also done commercials for The Mill, recent clients including Sega, Ford, Barclays, and was the director of the 2014 Pepsi Super Bowl ad as well. Elliot Williams and Matt Fleming established the international media production company's Code Media, based in London. And here they do digital content with a difference and post-production as well. PJ Liguri is an acclaimed YouTuber and director of the Vimeo On Demand show Oscars Hotel, which involved Jim Henson's workshop. 
And we have Chloe Curtin, who's creator of the hack to make Google Glass take photographs by mind control, presenting the app to the world in July 2014. She's been seen on BBC, C4, Jon Snow, CNN, and in Wired, to name but a few. We also have Andrew Wood, who is self-employed, running two small creative businesses. And we have David Strang, who's a lecturer, artist, and PhD candidate as well, just to give you a sense of the different kind of places our students can end up. So who are we looking for? This course is about developing your individual creativity and translating your ideas into projects. We are interested in folios that demonstrate a range of work reflecting your experience and interests. Photos, websites, films, drawings, sketchbooks, and anything that's important to you as a creative person. Thanks for watching this today. Uh, please visit our blog spot that has links to our YouTube channel where you can see more of our students' work. Also check us out on our new Instagram account at UCA Film Digital Art. This is a way of keeping up to speed of current student work across year one, two, and three but you can also direct message us there. And don't hesitate in getting in touch if you have any further questions. Thanks very much.